So I want to show you today that there's a lot of anatomical variations to vein disease. Uh, this particular patient has a large clump of veins that starts in her mid-thigh. Um, obviously the varicose veins continue down her leg and it's giving her a lot of symptoms in this area here. These are very, very uh, tender and there's a lot of pressure on these. Now when we did her ultrasound, we were surprised because as we go up her leg, we find her great saphenous vein, which is here, and then all of a sudden it just disappears. All her pressure is coming from the mid thigh, and as this vein goes up, it sends connections to the deep vein. We call these perforators because they perforate the muscle. So if you look at this ultrasound image, what you see is this long canal here. This is the deep part of her leg, and you see this little pipe that comes up, and all of a sudden you see this. These are all varicose veins here, and this is the source of her disease. I'll show you this in real time real quick if I can get a good real quick picture on it. So you see this whole cluster of veins and then the great saphenous vein is typically here. We don't see anything then boom, all of a sudden we see this vein and the way we tell if there's reflux, we just push a little blood up and we let go and where you see red, that's where there's reflux. So we have to kind of trace this back and figure out where this is starting, which is actually right here. You kind of, it's a little difficult to see, but to kind of do a little bit of Sherlock Holmes and you see where the vein actually starts. And then that allows you to formulate a treatment option. Again, this is where, where her reflex starts down here. We call this a mid-thigh perforator. So the treatment goal is to get the source of the reflex.